Today we will talk about how to find the time complexity of an algorithm and uh, there are a couple of ways to find it very easily and I'll talk about uh, all of those uh, different uh, methods. So the first way to find a time complexity is to look for loops in your algorithm. So let us say you have in your algorithm some kind of a loop. Let us say you have like a for loop for example or maybe any kind of loop that is going through n number of items. So in case you have an algorithm with a loop that is going from 0 to n. So in that case your time complexity is very simple which is in this case O big O of n and that is the worst case scenario. So when we talk about time complexity we mostly talk about the worst case scenario. So when you have one loop in your uh, algorithm, your time complexity is very simple, uh, big O of n. Let us say instead of one loop, you have uh, nested loops. So in case you have more than one loops uh, within each other, let us say you have a nested loop, you can have of course uh, one loop which is uh, uh, the main loop in your algorithm, but within that loop you can have maybe one more loop and that loop is also going from 0 to n number of items. So again, when you look at the time complexity, it is nothing but a quadratic. It is nothing but the multiplication of uh, both of them. So in this case, your time complexity is O n square, big O n square. Now, apart from loops, you can also have uh, some consecutive statements. So let us say you have a couple of state statements in your uh, algorithm. You have, let us say, uh, one statement that is uh, a loop from 0 to n. And in that case, you have uh, the time complexity of O n. Then you have right after this loop, you have one more loop, which is outside your uh, loop, but it's uh, another piece of uh, code or some other statement, but this loop is actually a nested loop. So in this case, your time complexity is nothing but addition of both the uh, both the loops. Uh, the first loop is O n, the second loop's uh, time complexity is O n square, and uh, your final time complexity will be O n plus O n square, and in this case, since uh, we are looking at uh, the worst case scenario, since we are talking about big O notation, we don't really care about uh, the smaller items. So the overall time complexity is O n square. So let us take uh, one uh, more example. Let us say you have uh, if else statement. So when you have if, if else statement, you can of course uh, look at uh, the section of your algorithm where uh, the time complexity is uh, maximum. For example, you have if statement and within this if statement you have, let us say, a single loop from 0 to n with time complexity of O n. Then when you look at your else statement, your second piece of statement is uh, again uh, multiple or uh, it's a nested loop. So you have uh, two loops here which are nested. So the overall time complexity will be again in this case uh, O n plus O n square and, uh, and definitely we will ignore the smaller part. So you can have uh, this O n square as the overall or the time complexity in big O notation for, uh, for if and else statement as well. And finally, let us say you have uh, an algorithm that is talking about trees. So in case of trees, we usually start with uh, an item on top and uh, we divide it further and we keep on dividing it further. So, so this is like a typical scenario of, uh, of a tree and in case of a tree, you can of course have a loop in the beginning. Let us say you have a for loop that is going from 0 to n items and uh, when you look at this particular tree kind of a structure, you are actually dividing into two parts. So when you do n plus plus in your uh, typical for loop where you iterate all the items, you are actually doing n into two. So you are skipping the items. So 
basically it, it will be like uh, you start with one then you have two then you have four then you have uh, uh, four into two which is eight then again 16 so you basically you are looking at this particular uh, iteration where you're not really going through all the items in your uh, input you're just uh, doing it uh, by multiplying the numbers by two and uh, in this case the time complexity will be log of n and uh, this is nothing but a series and if you try to find the solution for the series here it will be nothing but log of n so this is how you will uh, worry about the time complexity of your algorithm you will be asked to calculate the time complexity you will be also asked as a developer to make sure that your algorithm is working uh, or performing really well and finally when you are doing a comparison of uh, algorithms you can just remember a simple thing where o1 is always less than o of log n which is always less than o of n which is always less than o of n log n and uh, Finally, it is always less than O of n square. So when you are looking at the time complexity of different algorithms and you want to understand which algorithm will perform better when the input is increasing, when you're talking about the worst case scenario, when you're talking about the upper bound, just remember this thing. And uh, in this video, we learned how to find the time complexity of uh, an algorithm. We will be also looking at various algorithms so far we have only spent time on insertion sort but we will also take a look at bubble sort merge sort and uh, all other algorithms that are relevant and important and we will also spend time understanding how to look at the time complexity of each and each and every algorithm so i hope this video was useful thank you very much